Hi everyone. Uh, today we're going to do a little demo of the tap cooler bottle filler. Uh, this is a counter pressure bottle filler. Um, there are a number of these on the market. I've tried several of them, uh, as well as some, some non counter pressure designs. Uh, what's unique about this guy is it hooks directly to a forward sealing faucet, so like a Perlick faucet. And uh, can show an image. So this is the guy. Um, the stem is, you know, could be a little better. Basically, it's a car antenna that's been affixed on there, but it's telescoping, so you can adjust how long it is, so it'll reach the the bottom of your bottle. Um, on the right hand side is a ball lock uh, valve, and so that allows you to take, you know, split your gas line, hook a ball valve right on there, and then the little button that's to the left of that, and you press to let the gas into the bottle, and you can you can vent some out to, to clear out the oxygen. Uh, the top piece is what actually fits into your faucet. And it actually makes a pretty good seal. Uh, I was a little worried about that at first, uh, but I, I didn't experience any leaks, uh, even filling a, a pretty high pressure, you know, 3.2 volumes uh, beer. Uh, and then on the left-hand side there is the release valve, and you just open that up until gas starts flowing, and you can slowly uh, fill your bottle up. Uh, we can zoom in a bit so you can see the top of the device a bit better. Yeah, so there's a close-up of that guy. So let's actually see a demo of uh, how well this works and how I have it set up on my system. Okay, so here's our uh, setup configuration. So we have the CO2 tank here. Uh, I keep this uh, tank filtered. Uh, that's what I have all my beers on. Uh, but I have a splitter here, and this splitter is coming around and going to our bottler device. As you can see, this guy gas attaches to one end, and then this just fits right up into the tap. So that's pretty handy. Pretty easy. Okay, now the real moment of truth. Will it work? Let's throw our bottle on. Let's uh, let some gas in. Open the tap, start letting the gas out. Mm, we got beer coming out now. Slow that down a little bit. Get it way up into the neck there. Bleed off the rest of the gas nice and slow. Probably not a lot in there at this point. And quickly throw a cap on that guy.
All right. Yeah, I could deal with getting up into the neck a bit more, but that worked really well. Nice and clean, nothing splashing. I think I give it a thumbs up. So, final thoughts. Uh, this thing is awesome. Uh, I really hope they continue to manufacture these. Uh, they've been tough to get every now and again. The supply will, will run short. Um, I believe they're made over in uh, Europe and then shipped over here to a local retailer. Uh, by the way, the, where I got mine is Great Fermentations. I'm not affiliated with them, but uh, that's where you can go to get one. Um, really excellent device. Uh, you really do need a counter pressure filler for filling off of a keg, especially when you're dealing with more carbonated beers, say a Hefeweizen that's going to be over uh, three volumes of CO2 is going to be, you know, just a mess when you try to use something like, you know, uh, a Blickman gun, unless you put a ridiculous amount of line on it to slow that beer down. Um, you know, even then, I think the, the, the counter pressure is going to give you a lot better results. Uh, you know, the advantages of this one is before I, you know, I always had to have extra line uh, inside of my keg to do any kind of bottle filling. I'd have to, you know, pull the faucet line off, throw a different line back onto the bottle filler. I'd, and then, you know, that would force me to leave my lid open uh, on my on my keyser for a while. None of this is necessary using this bottle filler. It's so much more convenient. You just put it on. The gas runs on the outside. Uh, it's really easy to clean because there's not much there to clean. No extra lines to clean afterwards. Uh, so I, I really can't recommend this enough. Uh, cheers and click the subscribe button. Till the next one.